Well, the district attorney's office is tackling the thousands of backlog cases from the hundreds that were in the pre-indictment stage past their due to the cases coming up on their statute of limitations. El Paso DA speaking with our reporter Carla Draxler. She joins us live in the newsroom now. And Carla, what is the DA telling you? How is his office doing as of right now on refiling all those cases? Well, Natasha and Andy, DA tells me that the the backlog of those cases is pretty massive at this point, and they have hundreds of new cases coming in every week, so they're trying to keep up with those too. But, but what he tells me is that they have a strategy on how to tackle those cases slowly but surely. Over 11,000 backlogged cases. My concern is with these cases that we have in this uh, backlog, is that we don't lose a case. DA Bill Hicks says they are refiling the hundreds of cases dismissed after not being indicted within 180 days, releasing defendants from their bond conditions. Targeting those crimes which have involved victims. But focusing on felonies and misdemeanors that are reaching their statute of limitations. After two years for misdemeanors and three for felonies, those cases expire and can no longer be filed. Because I feel very strongly that the, the people who have been victimized in our community should certainly have their cases addressed. Chief Public Defender, who's been filing the dismissal, says her clients, the defendants, have been waiting for too long. We have a lot of clients that are really anxious for us to to get theirs filed. She says her office still has over 2,800 cases eligible for dismissal. Well, I know they have a, a, a mountain to get over, but I'm really looking forward to the day where we don't have this pre-indictment problem because it's very difficult to watch my clients struggling like this and have so little access to relief in our court system. Both offices, though on opposite sides in the courtroom, joined in working for the same community to get justice. Bringing justice doesn't just mean seeking convictions. It means getting those cases into court and seeing what is the best direction for those cases. And Hicks also tells me they have hired more staff for the DA's office to help them uh, tackle that backlog of cases. Reporting in the newsroom, I'm Carla Draxler. Back to you.